Shalom Akim, this is Yahweh Tazak coming back with another video. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders, great millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work and sincerity of truth. I'm just going to make a video just going into how Yahweh Shai, who the world idiotically called Jesus Christ, came and died for the Hebrew Israelites. And he didn't come for everybody. He came for the, the, uh, the uh, Israelite foreigners that are scattered to the four corners of the earth. As was made mentioned through prophecy that Israel was going to be scattered to the four corners of the earth. And that's how every nation is going to be gathered up into Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Because you're going to have Israelites that are going to be called uh, Chinese, Japanese, uh, Arabs, uh, uh, so-called white men, all right? American, Hispanic, Jap uh, uh, China. You know what I'm saying? You got all these different names for these nationalities out here these days. But Israel is in each and every one of them. All right, and basically just to prove to these so-called Christians, and uh, that only the Lord came and who did the Lord come come to die for, man? All right, so I'm gonna bring out scripture just proving that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai came to uh to shed his blood for that small remnant who are Hebrew Israelites, the elect. This is Acts five and twenty nine. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, "We ought to obey Yahweh rather rather than men." And that's the problem with these people nowadays in the churches, man, these Christians, is that they rather obey men than the Most High. And how do you obey the Most High is, is, is staying in tune in the scriptures, rightly dividing the word of truth. Rightly dividing the word of truth, man. All right. So Peter and the apostles, they knew that they ought to obey the Most High rather than men. But to, in today's society, they obey their these men. OK. It says the God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai. So, the God of whose fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, who you call Jesus, the Israelites. Peter and the apostles were Israelites. All right. So it says the God of our fathers, who was who were their fathers, the forefathers, the the patriarchs, it's Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. It says, raised up Yahweh Shai, whom you slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath Yahweh, his father, exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Spirit, whom Yahweh had given to them that obey him. That's right. So, uh, you can go into a lot with with this with these verses that I'm just reading right here alone, but real quick, the uh, the point was in 31, okay, that Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, all right, who was a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah, all right, he was he was a prince and a savior to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins, okay, that's the point, but in verse 32 it says we are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Spirit. And what is the Holy Spirit, man? Can you, and, and, and this is, I'm addressing you so-called Christians. What is the Holy Spirit? Because the script, uh, uh, in verse 32, it says, we are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, I'm going to tell you, is the word, man. Is the book that you're holding in your hands right now. Or you're looking at on your screen. Those, those, that's the Holy Spirit, the comforter. So the Spirit is already bared witness and given, given, get, has given us the truth. All right. Whom Yahweh had given to them that obey him. And how does he give you the Holy Spirit? Is by uh, 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 opening the, your mind to understanding and him coming into and planting that seed and dwelling inside of you, supping with you. Okay. That's how it's achieved for you to have understanding. All right. The scriptures say in uh, Proverbs 4, get Get wisdom, but with all thy getting, get understanding. Okay? So, the word is, is the truth. The scriptures say in Romans 3 that let God, let uh, let every man be a, a liar, but the word of God true. Okay? So, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah's word is true. All right? So, if, 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 if the Lord died for everybody, why did it say right here that, uh, him that had him had Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to forgive 
for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins, man. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump to another uh, uh, in the same book, Salakia, in chapter two, verse thirty-eight, where they use this to prove that uh, they try to use this to say that uh, anybody that comes to the Lord, that, you know, this promise is to everybody and anybody. Okay, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go into scriptures just to prove what they're saying is false. It's not for everybody. You have to be of 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 a of a of, 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 of Hebrew Israelite, man. You you, ha you would have to go back to your fa uh, forefather Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, we don't know, but it's all through the Spirit. This is Acts two and thirty eight. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Now, when you read all the way back from Acts chapter two, you you have to understand and read that 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 chapter in its context from from line upon line, line of precept upon precept. All right, and it's talking about all these different individuals that were coming into Jerusalem, Israel. They were from uh, different parts of the land, but they were all Jews, devout men. All right, so you have to keep that in mind. So coming to this this point in Acts chapter 2 the same chapter he's telling them what they have to do all right it says uh, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit for the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off even as many as the Lord our power shall call so they'll use this 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 these verses right here Acts 2 38 and 39 to prove that anybody can come to this promises to anybody but it's not man so we're going to find out uh, uh, who the promise is for, all right, and uh, and who the Lord shall call, okay? So I'm going to go from there to the book of Romans chapter 9, all right, nine, uh, Romans 9 and 1. I say the truth in Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Yahweh Shah Mashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of Yahweh and the promises, whose are the fathers and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Yahweh Shah Mashiach came, who is over all. Uh, God bless forever. Amen. Okay, so that right there tells you that who who the promises are for, man. And what is part of that promise? The salvation to be delivered. Okay? To 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 receive they're gonna receive a, a, a better kingdom and to be, to rule and righteousness. Okay? It's not talking about everybody. Alright. So um let me go to from there to let me see. Uh Joel Salakia. Let's go to the book of Joel, chapter 2, and the last verse. Joel, Joel 2 and 32. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. And in Mount Zion in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord Yahweh has said. And in, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Okay. The remnant. Who is the remnant that the Lord shall call? All right, and it's gonna it's gonna continue. I'm gonna continue to prove the word of the Lord is gonna continue to prove who He's dealing with. All right, but that's who He shall call. You know, going back to Acts chapter two, thirty eight and thirty nine. Who 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 is He gonna call? He's talking about those that pertain to the Mount Zion in Jerusalem. That is who deliverance is for. And and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. So let's go to from there. Isaiah chapter one. And start at verse two. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children. Going back to Acts chapter two, uh, uh verse thirty nine, or yeah, talking about the the promises unto your children and those that are far off, and whom the Lord shall call. So it says, I have brought nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. Okay. And there's only one people the Lord was dealing with that he chose of all the nations of the earth that rebelled against uh, the Most High. Okay? The ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib, but Israel does not know, 
my people did not consider. Okay, but now we're finding out in 2017, beginning in the uh, in the 60s, uh, until now, uh, we're coming to our uh, we're the, the that that great awakening is happening, man. All right, because we know that salvation is nearer than we ever believed. So now that Yahweh Shai is, is speeding things up and he's uh, revealing uh, the mysteries unto the his the the secrets to the prophets, man, and we're waking up the people, the elect. Verse 4, all oh, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have for forsaken Yahweh. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. Why should ye be stricken any more? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. That's right. That's why we got our people, man, they're in a diverse they're into diverse uh, religions and, and 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 doctrines and philosophies and ideologies and things of you know of that nature, man. You know, to the point where they're uh um they they dabble in witchcraft, man. They don't know what to believe in. They don't know what they they follow, man. It's like the scripture saying, John said, "We know what we worship, for you don't know what you worship, man." All right. So it says the whole heart is sick. The whole head is sick, and the whole heart faint. For the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but what but wounds and bruises, and pu uh, putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire, and your land strangers devour in your presence. It is desolate and overthrown by strangers. And the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage and a vineyard. And a lodge and a garden of cucumbers as a besieged city. Except Yahweh of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant. We should have been as Sodom and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. So the Lord left us a small remnant. Who? That are of who? What stock? Israel, man. The Israelites. All right. Uh, real quick. Let me go ahead and just go back to... Um, see here I believe in the book of Romans let me look up here real quick uh, let's see Romans let's go to Romans 11 and start at verse 5 it says even so then at this present time there is also a remnant according to the election of grace right let's jump down to verse 7 what then? Question mark. Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election had obtained it and the rest were blinded. OK, so Israel, there's an elect within the elect that are going to obtain this this blessing, man. OK, the elect within the elect are going to receive this blessing. All right. Going back to uh, real quick, just to uh, seal it up with that. What I'm talking about, that remnant, Joel took two. And 32, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, which is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as Yahweh has said, and the and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Okay, now let me go ahead and just uh, bring out this one in Amos, three and one. Hear this, hear this word that the that Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for your iniquities. Okay, that's the reason I brought this up because I was reading Isaiah chapter 1. So Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai are only dealing with the children of Israel, man, the elect. Okay, that's who he's chosen. And, and, and that's who he's dealing with, man. All right. Uh, but I hope this was edifying, Akium. Until next, I want to say Shalom.